I think we're going to have some serious, uh, what I call ego destroying experiences in the next few years. Again, I, I, I hearken back to some plant medicine ceremonies I've had uh, or mentorship experiences where, yeah, my, my very foundations of what I thought was true got shook into the core. Of course, they always mm -hmm. were followed by massive learning experiences. And so uh -huh. I guess I'll finish by asking a couple final questions, Mo, is that first of all, where are you going to be in 25, 26, and 27? <laughs> Because I might want to just stay close to you. Are you? Uh, are you gonna? Are you gonna be in the wilderness somewhere? Are you gonna be in a major city? I, one one of the books I'm working on. I, I've I finished four and a half books, and I'm working on two more. One of the two that I'm working on is called Half Monk, and Half Monk is a, a very interesting, actually very very calculated approach to spending half of my life engaged in the modern world and half of my life engaged in my spirituality and personal development and you know, reflection and so on. It seems to me, monkhood, of course, is exaggerated sometimes when you really think of someone that, by the way, fairly for them, I, I hosted Matthew Ricard once, once one time, one of the very famous monks, and, and he spent 60,000 hours of lifetime meditation alone, sometimes four years alone. Right? I don't want, I, I don't think I can do that. And I don't think I should do that with my responsibilities in the world. But I'm trying to be 50-50. Half, half of every day is in reflection and connection and, you know, uh, uh, learning and serving and so on. And half of every day is engaged in business conversations and negotiations and so on. Half of every week is time dedicated to the world and half of every week time dedicated to myself and so on. Right. And, and my dream is that we will have that balance. I am, I, in all honesty, I think we'll be pushed more to that monk side. I think there will be a time very soon where so many of us will really just have a, 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 a you know, a universal basic income and, and no job to do. And we have to learn to accept that, by the way. We are going to go back to the nature of humanity being connected with nature without that invention that we call work. Right. And, and one, one thing that a lot of people just on a tangent ask me uh, is what will happen to the future of work? What will happen is unless each and every one of us has economic livelihood, there will not be a need for AI. Do you, do you understand that? So at a, at a macro level, there needs to be a continuation of the economic likelihood, the livelihood of, of at enough people so that AI can build the things that it will build. Okay. Otherwise, the whole system collapses. Infancy of AI. So we will move into those universal basic income models and you know future of work models and so on and so forth. We will get there. There is absolutely no, no doubt about that. So where am I going to be? I believe I will continue to be engaged with enough time that simulates the future that we're going to. I'm trying to get from a person in. You know, in my Google years, that was doing 120% of my time in doing, 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 to a person that hopefully will reach 50-50, a bit of doing and a bit of being. And then hopefully, as we go back to being real humans, not in the, you know, capitalist world, more than 50%. But is that what real humans are, are, are here to do? I mean, is that really Sadly, true? Sadly, well, that's what I believe. I think before I the invention of capitalism, we only made the shoe when someone needed a shoe. We, we only, we only, basically we as humans were concerned with our safety and livelihood. Okay. Now we're concerned with philosophy and, you know, gender identity and, uh, you know, all of the uh, complexities of the politics and the voting and, it's a very, very complex life. When in reality, I again, I, I hosted the wonderful Greg Foster of uh, of uh, of my octopus teacher. He taught me so much in that one and a half hours. He basically said, "We are of Mother Nature. We're not visiting." Okay. We, when you really think about, it, one of my best friends is uh, is um, uh, Jimmy Nelson, the the photographer that goes and and photographs indigenous tribes, and he lives out there with those indigenous tribes and tells you this is the joy of life itself. Now, you, I don't know about you, I don't know any better than this big city and the, you know, the, the deals and negotiations. I don't know any better, so I think this is life. Hmm? But when you ask someone who's grown up on a farm, they'll tell you, I have no idea what you're talking about. This is life. Hmm? And, and is the balance somewhere in between, perhaps? 
Mm -hmm. But it's definitely not on either extreme. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public, and he's going to be talking about how this upcoming recession is going to be fast, it's going to be bloody, it's going to be nasty. But at the same time, he's going to show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now, we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim. Watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's going to happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real. And he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. I'm looking for partners, collaborators, colleagues who want to join forces with me around the globe and create real value, generational wealth, and financial freedom for everyone else around the world. Get involved in the cryptocurrency markets. Get involved in the NFT markets. This is your moment. Life all comes down to a few moments. Don't let this pass. Now it's not too late. Next year's gonna be too late. Ultimately, this is about freedom. That's the way I see it. This is about giving power back to the people and enabling billions of people worldwide to use the financial markets to improve their lives and those of their friends and their families and their communities. Honestly, I think it's a violation of human rights not to allow people basic access to financial services. Because right now people are being kept in the dark, they're being robbed of education, and it's a travesty. And so I'm looking for people that wanna join me and be a part of this solution. And that all happens inside the DeFi Academy. The gains my students are making are absolutely amazing. Double, triple digit gains in the first month alone. That's amazing. This will change your life. Now is the time to get involved. I'm going to tell you exactly how my students in my academy made money in the last 30 days. I'm talking about real trading results. So let me just whet your appetite a little bit. Let me hit you with some numbers. I'm talking Brendan from New Zealand is up 68.77% on the month. Steve from Europe up 83%. Albert in Singapore up 169.9% on one single trade. I got Susan up 153% on her call options alone. Also rocking 139% returns and 442% returns as well on individual trades. These are people that are changing their financial future in the last 30 days but it's based on trading discipline. I've graduated over 500 students from inside my academy from over 54 countries around the world. It's amazing. When it comes to crypto, DeFi, and blockchain, we love this space. We truly believe it's the future. This is down to our core. It's authentic to what we're doing, and everybody can tell through the camera because you can't make this stuff up. If you're watching me now, wherever you are, I implore you, take 60 seconds right now and join my academy, apply today. Now you've got a chance. Life all comes down to a few moments. What are you gonna do? What's the choice that you're going to make?